The ocean is both beautiful and very dangerous. And it was a joy to be close to both of those things, testing my limits. Yeah. Hi, so my name's Flossie Rocks, and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van, my tiny home on wheels. We are here in Haida Gwaii. I am drawn to the sea and its salty spray, though my thoughts persevered far beyond the shore. I am lost, I am bound, with every wave, the tide, its pull, I break, I bleed, from the sea I was born and to the sea I will return when I leave. Poem by James McKinnery. That way! Uphill! Without cameras apparently because we're filming. <laughs> that you have been enjoying this Haida Gwaii series coming along with me as I explore with Amanda and Frank the length of the drivable parts of the islands. I am very excited to continue this journey with you and see some amazing places. There's been some beautiful campgrounds and more than anything beautiful beautiful beaches. shower but I have my shower shoes and my towel and my stinky body and I'm ready to get clean. It's been a while and I can pop in at the campground and use the shower and then go camp at the free campground afterwards which is really good. My body and hair and everything just need a wash. Oh. Pray for hot water because I have four minutes. <laughs>
Oh, come on, hurry up and warm up. Oh, that's cold water. So good. Oh, now I'm hungry. I don't really have decent lunches. I have like a late breakfast and an early dinner. <laughs> Get hungry in the afternoon. <sighs> Feels good to be slowing down. Tis the end of a long day. I am tired. I'm quite enjoying the slower pace another 22 kilometers to drive and hopefully dinner I just am feeling so much fresher having had a shower kind of have to plan stops and whenever going through little towns and villages look out for showers I feel a lot fresher and I'm gonna sleep well being a bit cleaner which is lovely right I'll see you when I get to camp Stroller down here, he could. <laughs> Some incredible, incredible sunsets. I think after a long day, a long week, working, traveling, to come to the beach and just go, <sighs> to find that moment of stillness, the glory, the radiance that the sun rewards us with in the evening. Like it is incredible how much of a sunshine driven creature I am. I am truly a glorified plant. I bloom and shine when the sun is out and when it is not out, I am a little more reserved. <sighs> what a day. It's the end of the week and weekend is arriving. We had a beautiful dinner, pasta, at sunset, and now a gorgeous walk with the sun. This is a beautiful beach. I'm loving going to sleep with the sound of these waves. It's not too windy this side of the island. We're sort of up near the point. And everything is really gorgeous. Like even the forest is just stunning. And then walking into sunset, this is kind of incredible. I feel very lucky and blessed. This is the place I can be to live my life.
These are beautiful barnacles. Oh, and they're moving. Hopefully, I can come in for a swim here tomorrow. For him. That would be really cool. <clears throat> I love a bit of surf. And why not? Stroke by stroke, my body remembers that life and cries for the lost parts of itself. Fins, gills, Opening like flowers into the flesh, my legs want to lock and become one muscle, I swear I know just what the blue-grey scales, shingling the rest of me would feel like. Paradise sprawled into the mother lap, in that dream house of salt and exercise, what a spillage of nostalgia pleads. From the very bones, how they long to give up the long trek inland, the brittle beauty of understanding and dive, and simply become again a flaming body of blind feeling, sleeking along in the luminous roughage of the sea's body, vanished, like the victory insides in sucking Genesis. That roaring flamboyance, that perfect beginning and conclusion of our own. Poem by Mary Oliver. I was just around the edge of this rock. <laughs> I would have got very wet then. <sighs> okay, let's go back to...
Good morning. This video, I felt like I really wanted to get in the ocean. Being right next to it, it really calls me in. Going in and a place that has lots of surf provides lots of challenges. I don't know if you need to see me struggle into the rest of this. First of all, the surf creates a lot of sand and uh, dirt in the ocean, so the visibility absolutely drops through the floor. It became really murky. All of the churned up material and shell and debris becomes a little off-putting and scary. And I went for myself trying to be as safe as possible. So in this particular instance, I went out, felt the rip of the uh, riptide, the pull of the ocean uh, too strongly to one direction. And I knew I probably, if I had been pulled out, I would have been able to get out on the beach and walk around, but it would have been a very long walk. I didn't want to take that rip so I was by myself. I don't know how deep it gets out there. I don't know if that rip pulls out to the ocean or just pulls sideways. Knowing the dangers and risks is sometimes way better than going, oh, I missed out on this thing, or I could miss out on this thing, I'm going to go and do the dive anyway. So that's what happened. I decided to take care of myself, be safe, and do a whole lot of tide pooling, looking at the anemones and the giant barnacles. Giant barnacles, I believe, are also actually edible, and there's a whole bunch of mussels. Uh, mussels at this point of the year become uh, a biotoxin risk, so they are on the no harvest list. But there is a lot here. Uh, seeing the razor clam shells also really, really incredible for me to just sink into all of the intertidal life. It's beautiful. But the current is pulling that way. And I don't want to get sucked out there and not better get back here. I would have to try to go that way. But that's too splashy. Too dangerous. Look at the size of that razor clam feel blessed and honored to observe wow. it all and to take you all with me. I feel grateful that I am able to do that and to share my love of the beloved ocean.
of a rip punt. has taken quite a bit of a toll for the last adventures and my knees are sore so I brought a beverage and took two painkillers before we left. I have uh, dislocated my both of my knees so I have some premature arthritis in both of them so occasionally after many many days of doing I get a bit achy and painy but I think this will be worth it. made it off the beach and into the trees. Now we're gonna head almost a kilometer that way, uphill, without cameras apparently because we're filming. <laughs> the beach again. Yeah. It's like the same thing, but one is a social trail and this one is a well-constructed path for high traffic. Yep. Whoa, there's been a massive slip. Whoa. So we're not worried about getting lost? Nope. <laughs> there's not a million paths to get up and down. Stairs are not doing me knees any favors. Woo. So 
Is an eagle. Yeah. Wow. The wrong lens for it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are a Patreon, all of the postcards that I sent out to my Patreons were from this location. The pa Patreons all got a little personalized message from this location in Heidegger. I believe they have all either started to or have arrived now, which is really exciting for me to see as that comes in. I send out postcards to certain tiers of my Patreons every so often to say a huge thank you for all the support. And all the support from you guys commenting, watching every week. I am incredibly grateful to have all of you come with me to experience the highs and the lows. And I feel like the tide is finally turning and that the hard work that I have put in my positive mental attitude, the manifestations that I have been really hard working on, I feel the seeds in the air and it is exciting. I am excited to take you all along with me for the rest of this trip. We have a few more videos. I am very, very excited to share those with you. Some very interesting times ahead. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It means a lot to me. I check and see the number of likes each one gets and it makes a difference to the algorithm and how many people see these videos, which affects my livelihood directly right now. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.